Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I do all the hacker rank and leak code solutions. I have playlists for both of them. Uh, I'm really busy right now, so I'm doing a lot of easy ones. This one's diagonal difference. Um, it's a little harder than the other two easy ones I did, but it's still super easy. Um, so yes, if you want to look, if you're looking for harder ones, I'd skip this. But uh, this one is. Given a square matrix, calculate the absolute difference between the sums of its diagonals. For example, the square matrix is shown below, so it's a square, 2D array square. We're going to be given a 2D array, obviously. And uh, by diagonals, they mean the sum of 9, 5, and 3, and 1, 5, and 9. So just from top left to bottom right, and, um, you know, top right to bottom left. Uh, so left to right diagonal is 1 plus 5 plus 9, and the right to left diagonal is 3 plus 5 plus 9. Absolute difference is 15 minus 7. Pretty easy. We're just going to do a one single loop, and we're going to just have variables that, you know, what the first one's really easy. We're going to have i and j set to 0, and then we'll increment by 1 each time, and that'll just be a perfect diagonal. Um, and then the other one's just as easy, pretty much. We're just going to have another one that's um, the rows counter will be set to zero uh, and go up to the rows number of rows and then the only difference is the columns will be set to uh, array dot length minus one and then go to zero so the one counter decrements and that's pretty much it and then we'll just do the math dot abs so yeah um, input it could be any the square could be anything big but um, you know obviously it's square we're not there's no checking where these are the super easy ones they're just guaranteed that there's a working solution um so we're gonna have int left to right diagonal is gonna be set to zero int right to left uh, we'll set it to zero and then we do this in all the 2d problems we do int rows is equal to array dot length get the number of rows and then int columns is equal to array of zero dot length all right, now we can begin, set all our counters up like I just said. I is going to be set to zero, J is going to be set to zero, K is going to be set to zero, and then L will be the right to left uh, column counter, so that's going to be set to array dot length minus one. Um, and then we'll just do a while loop, so while I is less than rows and J is less than columns, that one's easy, that's the left to right. And the k is less than rows because it's the second diagonal it's right top right to bottom left we still have to increase in rows new row each time it's just decreasing in uh, decrementing in columns so and while l is greater than or equal to zero super easy um, left to right gets incremented by array of i j while right to left gets incremented by array of k l right those are the corresponding values in the 2d array they'll be perfect and then we just have to do the incrementing and decrementing uh, i'm doing plus equals instead of plus plus uh, i just always did it and then i stopped for a while and then i don't know why i didn't I did that, so there we go. And then you decrement L. That's it. And then you just have to return the math.abs. There's a built in for that, so we don't even have to do that really. Uh, there we go. Um, that's it. Super easy. Hopefully, I mean, really, you don't really learn anything from this. Uh, what, what can I tell you? If you're a beginner, um, you know, this is a good, good. I guess it's good practice to traverse and iterate through 2D arrays. There's a lot of 2D array problems. Um, always get the number of rows and number of columns. Those are going to be things you usually count up to. Um, usually you're going to be doing a for loop and uh, probably getting like max values or something like that. But uh, there's a lot of other problems. I'll do some on this page where you do like spiral. It, you iterate through a 2D array in a spiral formation you know, until you get to the middle, um, you know, there's, learn how to, learn how to iterate through it in any way possible, this is one of the ways, just, um, just to have control over it, and that's about it, that's all my advice is, if anyone was a beginner, otherwise, if you're not a beginner, this is probably a useless video, so, uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, please check out my other videos that I actually put effort into, I just have a lot of interviews right now, so I didn't have time to actually make a good video, so, thanks, and see you guys next time.